So we've got a fairly full session today. Um, you'll notice in the slides that there's quite a few. The approach that we had when we put it together was we'll put it all in there. There will be a number of slides that I basically skip over, but then you've got the reference point to go back to later on. I tend to try and present more in pictures than in words, so we're, we're going to give that a go. Um, Stephen and I are going to tag team through, so we've sort of broken it into four main sections. Um, we'll hope to get through the first two in about 30 minutes, uh, sec uh, the third one in about 15 or so, and the last one in about 15 or so. So leave 15 minutes odd for questions. So if you have anything burning, if our facilitator doesn't mind, I'm happy to take questions as we go through, but we'll try not to get too caught up. So do write them down, but if it's burning, we'll um, try and address it uh, as we're there. So just to start off, risk management strategy. So I just like a sort of hand up sort of approach to this. If you've got a risk management strategy, something to do with around ergonomics and sort of RSI style injuries in your workplace. So hands up. Very good. Right. Good. So, yeah, because I tend to work over my laptop looking a little bit like this. Um, fires in the workplace, particularly in something like a server room. Okay. Hands up. Okay, great. Anyone got a risk management strategy for this sort of uh, terrorist kind of attack? Hands up, nice and clear. Good. Anyone got a risk management strategy for this in the workplace? Hands up. One, two, three, okay, great. It's a bit of a tough topic uh, that we're going to go through today. I used to be an ambulance officer, so I'm I have a fairly dark sense of humour at the best of times. I've tried to make what is a difficult topic a little bit humorous and hopefully I don't offend as I do that. Um, and like I said, we'll go on a bit of a journey and, and hopefully be able to provide you some useful insights. 